This is the board game hero. Today we are going to play Abomination Air of Frankenstein. If you want to learn how to play the game, I will attach a link somewhere here in this on the screen so you can go to a video that will teach you how to play. As for myself, I will be starting uh, my solo game. But before I do that, I will introduce you to the changes in the rules. They actually released a solo variant for this, an official one. And the solo variant slightly changes in the setup. So you will just follow the setup for two-player game. You can play any character. I just chose this uh, uh, at random. This is Mary Freeman, Marie Freeman. And then the event deck should only consist of events, no encounters. You will remove all the encounters. Remove all eight Captain Walton cards from the humanity deck. Do not place the bride and bump here. There is three spaces there. Then the bonus objectives, you only place these three. The first 23 reputation, 27 expertise, and uh, humanity. So you have three objectives there that gives you 10 points in the end. Choose a player color other than your own. My own player color is purple. Captain Walton and his investigators uh, it will be color blue. Because in this game, they will be investigating around. I will tell you about the story later. And then other than that, uh, you place one in the morgue. The rest will be unlocked as the round moves on or goes on. For the rules changes, no meeples will ever be placed in the first player. This one. So no no meeple can ever be placed here. And I'm always considered to be the first player. And each police marker costs 4 francs. No meeples can be placed in the bride and bump spaces. Instead, this will be used for when you're bribing a police officer. So you can bribe up to 3 times. After it fills up, it will reset and you will add a coin here, a franc. That will indicate that the additional franc or additional cost will be spent in order to bribe. For the humanity cards, you, in, you ignore the conditional text on the cards that target another player. And also the cards that make locations off limits work as written. But the investigators, they, because they will move around the board, they will skip those locations. And then after each meeple placement, during the city phase, so and whenever I put a meeple uh, on the board, I will move the investigators and it will be explained here in the next page when the me the, when the captain moves onto a space that has an investigator it moves to the morgue the game will end either my monster is complete or if the captain reaches the creature uh, i also i will lose and then for bonus objectives i get 10 points for any objectives that i achieve i can use those i can use my score to beat my uh, my own score in the future there are also variants here that you can use to adjust the difficulty or to make it faster. We are actually going to use the faster start. So we will start with two muscle side body parts on the table, one arm and a leg. But that makes the game easier. So let's add something that will make it harder. Let's increase the starting bribe le level. So it's going to be expensive to bribe. Yeah, I guess that's it. So this is the story so far. As the full moon illuminates your room, you awaken with a start. The creature is back and standing over you. You open your mouth to scream, but the creature's massive hand stifles the attempt. There's no need for that. There's no one in the house to hear you. I have taken them. And if you want to see them again, you will do exactly as I have instructed. Since my promise of riches has not motivated you, you forced my hand. Create for me an equal, and I will spare your loved ones from the gruesome fate I have designed for them. If you fail in this task, you will never see their faces again. Over the following days as you begin your grave work, you catch wind that Captain Walton is on the trail of the creature. He has vowed to stop this abomination. You have no ill will towards the captain or his mission, but you must recover your loved ones before the captain can catch his prey. You also soon discover that the captain has discovered that you share a connection with the creature. He may even suspect what you are working on. He has sent his men to interrogate you. So, the creature has kidnapped your family. In order for your family to be safe, you have to do his bidding, which is create him a monster. If Captain Walton ever reaches him or harm him, he will kill your family and uh, game over. So that's the story. With that said, I guess we can start our first turn.
This is Paris, 1819, and we are using Marie Freeman. Her ability, she begins the game with two expertise and once per lab phase. Spend one less material when starting or completing a monster. So let's set our expertise. So you can see here we have humanity, reputation, and expertise. These are all set to default. Now we will increase our expertise to 2. Every time you move up on this, the dial, you will gain effect, negative or positive depending on the direction. Uh, I don't know where to put my francs there. I'll just put it, put it here. Yeah, whatever. Put it here to the side. We have here an, a police officer so we cannot go to the morgue. So this is a worker placement game. I have a scientist and two apprentices. Oh, first of all, we do an event phase. So draw and resolve one card from the event deck. So this is our encounter deck. Let's draw our first encounter. And our first encounter is Long Live the House of Bourbon. Community leaders organize neighborhood loyalty drives, encouraging citizens to sign pledges to the Bourbon monarchy. Each player may immediately choose once to pay one franc to gain one reputation. Well, I, I will pay one. Just I will donate to the monarchy. I will pay that and I will increase my reputation by one. So we start with one reputation. We now have two reputation. The more reputation we get, the more uh, followers we will have, uh, apprentices and scientists. Uh, the more humanity we get, these are just uh, points and uh, also reputation. While expertise will give us points and blue dice. Uh, where do we discard? Discard this off the table to the side here. Okay, so this, that's our first event. We paid one franc. Then let's go to the city phase. Take turns placing your meeples in Paris or your lab. We have three workers and each space gives different effect depending on the worker you place, your scientist or apprentice. Mm, what do we need to start a muscle part? So we already have an arm and a leg. To make a torso, we need 7 expertise. We are at 2 currently. So this is going to be a long grind. Um, we can build a leg and an arm. It only requires 3 expertise. So this is going to be useful to us. This is the part in the rulebook where it explains the locations in detail. Um, each time we, we place a meeple, we're going to do the investigate action. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my scientist. I can work in the hospital for money, but my expertise needs to be good. I can, however, instruct my apprentice to go to the cemetery. In cemetery, I will draw three cemetery cards. One, two three and I can take any of this as long as I pay the cost here and this is what I drew we have a very decomposed corpse uh, a slight uh, I think this is a fresh corpse two of them so I will pay the cost here to gain any one of these two this one has no cost so we can get that one it's just four bones. I can sell the bones in the market for money. So I'm gonna get this skull. Since we don't have expertise, maybe we can just study these bodies. Okay, first of all, I'm going to resolve this. I'm gonna get four bones for this skull. Our skeleton over here. There is no discard pile in this game, so every card will just go to the bottom. Then for these two, I'm going to pay one humanity to study one of them. This guy over here, I'm going to gain one expertise. I lost one humanity, one expertise. I have three expertise now. Lastly, I'm going to pay another humanity. And I'm going to get all of the body parts. I'm going to dissect three muscle, yeah. The brown is a muscle, three muscle, four organs, and two bones. Three muscle, four organs, two bones. These organs and muscle that I just got from this corpse will be in the third stage of decomposition already. Third stage. So we're gonna put it here. Third stage. And then put her at the bottom. That is our first placement. This is gonna be a long game because I just placed my first meeple and it's already 10 minutes on the video. After each turn, after you place, I will roll the two gray die. 
for each damage, these are damage icons and this is a live icon. So for each damage icon that I roll, I will move that investigator one space along the search path. The search path will be the morgue. The slaughterhouse is going to be just clockwise. Slaughterhouse here, here, here until he goes back to the morgue. So the next space he will go is the slaughterhouse here. This is space. Since we got uh, a damage here, the movement will be 1. The next space will be 2 here in advanced research. So this police officer is investigating in the morgue, the slaughterhouse, and now in the advanced research uh, slot in the academy. So he's looking for me. We will ignore all non-lightning bolt die facings. And let's move on. That's it. Once an officer moves on our meeple, it's either a scientist or a apprentice, they will do an interrogation. And we can kill them, bribe them, attempt evasion. So that is the cemetery action. We need to preserve this so we can sell them later on in the market. So I'm gonna go to the market now. I cannot preserve this. I can only preserve that in the laboratory phase. That's the only time I can preserve these materials. For now, I'm going to the market still to get some to sell our bones. I'm gonna put one of my apprentices there. I'm gonna order them to go to the market sell our bones two four six we will get three francs here that's not a lot we gain three francs total one two three and then we can also buy some ice we can buy an ice for one so we can preserve some materials later this is an ice cube we put it here in our laboratory what else? We don't need laden jars now, but it would be nice to have laden jars so whenever an event that has a storm, it will charge our laden jar. So I'm gonna get one now. I'm gonna get one laden jar because we don't have enough money. So I have one laden jar here. It's not yet charged. It will be charged later depending on the event if there's a storm. Okay, so now let's roll the degree die for this officer. It will move three spaces. One, two, and three. Okay, still, um, the academy is quite large, so it, it he took his time there, searched every room, and didn't find anything. Okay, so our turn will continue. We have our scientists. Our scientists will give us uh, a better effect here. You know what? Since he already passed the advanced research, I'm gonna go there. I'm just gonna do an advanced research here using my scientist and it will give us expertise. We're gonna gain one expertise. We are now at four. I'm not sure if you can see that. I have four expertise now and I can draw one research card from the academy. And we got tutor. Play anytime to gain this benefit. And then I can do this also, ignore any. When you roll, you can play this card to ignore any damage. So this is useful. We can have a maximum of three each. Three research and three humanity cards. I just placed my scientist. So let's roll for the officer. Wow, they're, they're really active now. They, they keep moving every turn. So he's going to move three spaces. He's going to go to the dark alley. And then go to the docks. And oh no, he will go to the market. The police officer caught one of our apprentices there and is going to be interrogated by the police officer. Here's the three things we can do. We can attempt an evasion. We can only murder if we, are, we put a scientist there. We can also bribe. Bribing is two francs and we don't have franc there. Maybe we can try an evasion. If we try an evasion, the player may roll two blue dice. If ever one or more eye symbols are rolled, nothing happens. That means we succeeded in our evasion. However, if we fail to roll an I, move to the interrogation below. Okay, so let's try that. Just to let you know, if we fail, the captain gains vital knowledge in his research for in search for the creature, advance the captain on the story track. So that is bad. So let's, I hope we succeed. Just one I. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we successfully evaded our apprentice here successfully evaded that officer then i guess nothing happens here let me check mm -hmm -hmm. okay so that's it he, he evaded the police officer there he's hiding maybe in the market a lot of people in the market so he's able to escape or evade 
the police officer. So good job, uh, apprentice. Let's continue with our evil doings. That ends our turn. Let's go to the lab phase. And first thing is we can build the monster part, but we don't have the expertise, I guess. Ah, we have. We have the expertise for an arm. Oh no! We, we can build an arm now, but we sold our, uh, all of our bones. So that is, that is bad. We don't have bones. We're not gonna start a monster part. We're gonna, we're not gonna throw the switch. Right. Preserve materials. That's what we, we're gonna do. We're gonna preserve all of these materials here because we want to sell, sell them. But once you preserve a material, you cannot use it in building a monster anymore. You can, the only thing you can use it for is just selling it, uh, in the market. Um, guess that's it. We preserve the materials. We can only have a maximum of nine. We have seven here. We will reset the board. We will decompose the material. Um, first, we don't have materials here that is not preserved because we preserved already. So first thing you will do is to decompose the material, refresh the game board. This is just one of the most tedious uh, part of the game, but the rest is okay. So we'll just discard the cards, put it at the bottom. There's no discard pile here. So this is the humanity deck. I'm going to put it there and then draw another two. Um, what else? We have the, the docks here, the scoundrels, the hospital, I think everything here. How many? The number of players, which is the two players. Because they said set up as two players, so I'm draw I'm drawing two cards here for the hospital. So one thing we 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 did wrong is that the academy deck should be off the board, and there should be two here. But we only have one. We drew one on, from the top, so now we're gonna do it right. We have two research there, and the rest of the deck will be placed somewhere here. Okay, I just did uh, a little bit of rearranging here, so my cards will be here. Let's finish our reset phase. So we place our meeples back to our character board. Advance the captain one space on the story track. Now it's round two. Finally, that's a long first round there. Next turn. Uh, let me check when does the ice melt. I forgot. Okay, it happens during the decompose, which is the very start of the reset phase. So this is now half ice cube, half ice block. So we already used half of it. We can now start our next turn. Finally, we have one officer on the board. He's on the marketplace right now, covering that spot. Let's get our next event. This is for... 8 to 12, so let's flip that. This is round 1 to 7. Cholera, cholera epidemic. The disease sweeps across the city, killing scores of peasants and nobles alike, keeping the grave diggers and hospitals busy. Place two extra cadaver cards on top of the hospital stack. When working at the hospital, you gain two extra francs. When placing at the cemetery or the morgue, you draw one extra card. Oh my god, many dead bodies here because there is an epidemic at the moment. And also, there's a storm raging today. So there's a storm. All of our laden jars will be charged for free. Okay, so that is nice. Let's place it somewhere we can see so that it will we will be reminded of the effect. We can put it here. So let's add two to the hospital stack. Alright, we can now begin our turn. We cannot go to the market at the moment because there is a police officer there searching the area. We can, however, go to the hospital to gain extra 2 francs. Let's volunteer, you know, or maybe just, just work. We have 4 expertise, so we gain 2 francs if we work there using our scientists. And uh, we can volunteer. Voluntor, volu volunteering gives us 2 uh, reputation. I guess it's good for, for now to place an apprentice somewhere. Let's take a look at the research here. Publish. During your turn, you lose one scientist from your character card for this round to gain this benefit. That is good. So let's put our apprentice here in research. Do some research there. So this will give us two expertise and three reputation if we manage to do this. But we have to lose one scientist for the turn because he will be doing the publishing. That is our first placement. Let's roll our die for the officer. 
He will move two spaces to the church, to the cemetery. We can place our next worker. I really want to build up my reputation. So first, to be safe, let's go to the let's go to the market and sell our well-preserved muscle and organs here. We will gain four francs. One, two, three, four. Maybe we can buy something. I want to buy a Leyden jar. I'm not sure if the Leyden jar that I just bought will automatically be charged because there's a storm going on at today. So I'm gonna check. It says in the rule that upon purchasing a Leyden jar, put it on the charge side. We have two charged Leyden jars. Maybe we can flip the switch later. But for now, let's move our officer. He will not move. Our last placement, the scientist, will be going to... Yeah, I'm gonna pay a hospital thief. I'm gonna hire one. So I will lose one humanity that would reduce our reputation. And I don't want that. Let me think. I don't want to lose humanity because we will lose reputation if we do that. Okay, I have decided that I'm going to the docks to hire this cutthroat. It may be expensive. We will pay him two coins and uh, one humanity. But we will get, look at this, very fresh muscle, organs, and blood, and a bone. So let's do that now. Let's pay two francs and <clears throat> lose a humanity. Uh, when we lose a humanity here now, we will lose one reputation as well. We are now back at one reputation and we will gain four muscles. That's very fresh. So we gain three bones from that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, that's definitely worth it. Let's roll for the officer. He will not move. He stays in the cemetery. Maybe he's looking at the graves one by one. He's busy there. So he's not moving. Right. Let's finish our city phase. That ends our city phase. Uh, before we do that, because we lost a reputation and, and I didn't like that, I'm going to do a tutor. It's, it will increase our reputation by two and uh, give us three coins. 3 francs, 2 reputation. We are now up to 3 reputation. Lab phase. We can build the monster part. Can I guess we, with all of these organs or materials that we have now, we can start... How many expertise we have? We have 4 expertise. We cannot build a torso or even a leg. But maybe we can finish it. No, we cannot finish. It requires 10 minimum to finish or seven minimum to finish a monster part so let's do a monster part an arm because it's only required three expertise we're gonna pay three muscle two organs and three bones and since it's a fresh quality we will gain four points for that or we can we can wait we can wait for one round and build up our expertise to maybe 5 or 7 so we can gain more points there. Let's play with points. If we play with points, we were, we will not be forced to rush the game. If we don't play with points, we can just build all of these body parts using cheap materials and that's not really fun. So we will not build the part now. Let's build our expertise for later. We can start a torso. A torso would give us 7 points. Since our body parts here are not yet complete, so we cannot... Throwing the switch doesn't make sense. Let's, so let's keep that. Let's preserve materials and we're not gonna do that. So our ice cube will be gone. It's melted now. That ends our lab phase. Let's go to the reset phase. Decompose the materials. We already did that. Refresh the game board. Hospital. We didn't really utilize the, the epidemic there. So reset is done. Bring back all of your meeples to your board. Advance the captain one space. We have two officers now. It starts at the morgue. I'm oh, sorry. Decompose phase. This should be at the level 2 now. At the decompose phase. Right. Let's begin our next turn. Let's check our... 
event. Uh, winter storm. A bitter frost settles over the city, driving the living into their homes to find what warmth they can by heart and stove. The market, the cemetery, and lecturing at the academy are off limits. Skip decompose and ice melting during reset phase. Nice. So we need to cover those spaces so that we know it's off limits. So the market, cemetery, and the lecturing at the academy. This one, the lecture. There's no classes. Great. Right. Uh, since most spaces are off limits, I think I'm going to do some uh, publishing. Maybe this is a book. Our scientist will be unavailable because he will do uh, he will publish a book or a research paper. So let's lose this scientist for this round only, and we will gain two expertise. We are now up to six expertise and three reputation. We are now up to six reputation. One more reputation. And we will get another apprentice or a follower. We, on, we also gained one franc there. So let's discard this academy. That is not considered a placement. So the officers will not move. We still have two apprentices. They can do some something else. So to actually build or start a torso, we need five bones. And we only have three. So we need two more bones. And... There is no, nowhere else to get that because we, we don't have enough reputation for the hospital. The morgue is blocked. The cemetery is blocked. So we're going to go to the docks and hire some cutthroat or a body snatcher. I think cutthroat is better. We only pay, but it, it costs humanity. But it's okay. We only pay one and lose one humanity. And then we can get the materials. These are fresh materials. We, we get four muscle, three organs, three blood, and two bones. Exactly what we need for the bones. So let's get that before we discard. Four, org four muscles, three organs, three blood. Blood is useful for completing a body part. And then we gain two bones over here. Right, so let's discard this. We already paid and lost humanity. Okay, so let's move our officers. So one good thing about this is after you roll, you will choose an investigator to move. So this will not move. Two hearts, this one will not move. How about the other one? It will also not move. So they will stay in the morgue. This one will stay in the cemetery. Two important places to get bodies. But we can't do anything about it. Let's do our next turn. We have a problem. I need seven expertise and I only have six. The places on the board, we cannot get expertise at the moment except for the hospital. But we need seven reputation in order to get a card from that hospital space. Um, I don't know. If we get to the seven reputation, we will gain another apprentice. So that is good. When we gain an apprentice during the city, city phase, we can uh, use that immediately. So that is good. I guess we are going for the reputation. Maybe we can do ah that mm, we cannot do donation here because it only it requires scientists. Where can we get reputation? All right, I I found the card. This could be good. This is midnight oil. During your turn, which is we can use it this turn, we can choose one of your place meeples and resolve that location effect again, including any placement cost. Does not count as your placement this turn. Uh, so I guess we can use this uh, apprentice here. We can resolve this space again and get uh, pay for uh, for expertise here instead of going for the reputation. And we can do that one. So I'm gonna get that midnight oil. Where's that apprentice? This apprentice will do a research here, and I can get the midnight oil. Put it uh, here. Before using that midnight oil, let's move our officers. Let's roll gray die. So it will move two spaces. Which one do we want to move two spaces? This one will go to the... Hmm, okay, let's move this one two spaces to the advanced research. One, two. For that one, let's roll for another one. This one doesn't move. 
he's been there in the cemetery for quite a long time now. I don't know what he's doing there. Now, we can use our Midnight Oil. During your turn, choose a space. We will choose the docks. We will activate that space again. So, we activate. Guess the cheapest here. This will make us lose humanity again. We don't want that. So, I'm going to pay for the Body Snatcher. Two francs for the Body Snatcher. And it will give us two expertise. We are now up. To eight expertise. That's not a placement action, so that the officers will not move. Let's do our laboratory phase. We can build the monster part now. That's what we have been trying to do. We can now build the torso since we have eight expertise. Torso, we have we will pay uh, four muscle and four organ and five bones. So five bones first, four organ, four muscles. We're gonna get that from the second. There it is. Now we can get a torso to add to our monster. This is the torso. Yep. There it is. Looking good so far. And we gained 7 points for that. This is our score tracker. 7 points. Because it is fresh materials. Aside from point, we will also increase our expertise expertise by 1. That is nice. We are now up to 9 expertise. Now that we have 3 started body parts, maybe we can start completing one of them. Let's see the requirement. So we have currently 9 expertise. Maybe we can complete our arm. We only have to pay 3 blood, 2 organs, and 3 muscles. And we all have that in the one space. Very fresh. We will get a lot of points for that. So 6 points. Well, we can wait. Let me see. If we get, if we get a bone, we can also start. Yeah, this is good. So Since we will not decompose in this round because we have a winter storm, we can wait one more round. And we can start the body, the head. So let's wait for now. Let's not do anything. Because we will, I remember we will skip decompose and ice melting. So let's move on. We will not throw the switch. We will not preserve materials. We will decompose materials, but we will skip that. Then let's refresh the game board. This is the only thing I don't like. Refreshing the game board. Advance the captain one space on the story track. We'll also remove any event here because it's not going to be used anymore. So advance him. He's now round four. Let's get our next event. Meat surplus. The overproduction of livestock results in six metric tons of unclaimed beef and pork. Any able-bodied persons with a meat trolley are enlisted to retrieve what they can before the carcass is spoiled. When placing at the slaughterhouse, gain two extra animal materials and one franc. But we don't want to go there. That would give us low quality uh, material. That is only used for emergency. If you, if you run out of uh, good materials, you can always go there. So let's begin. First, we're gonna, we have to get our expertise to 10 so we can create the head. And we need bone as well. And we have bone man here. Very cheap. Just one franc. It will give us eight bones. So let's think about that option. Okay, we're going to the morgue. We pay one franc. And we will draw two cards here. And we can do two things. We can take the materials or in, uh, study them. How many bones do we need to, for the head? Three bones only. I am not gonna resolve this because it will make us lose humanity. I'm just gonna discard that. So I'm going to resolve this this one. It will give us three bones, three organs, and three muscle. Great. Discard. And let's move our officers. Move one space. I'm gonna move this one, one space here to the hospital because he will skip the public square if there's no execution there. We don't have any execution, so 
he moves to the hospital the other one will be will not be moving right our turn again we now have the bone next we we need is a reputation or an expertise to get a reputation we can donate using our scientists but there's no way to get expertise if we do that mm. but it's dangerous to go to the research spot because if this officer moves we will do an interrogation there or we will try to evade at least i've been calling this one apprentice it, it's actually assistant so sorry about that it's been one hour already i think or 45 minutes and we are calling this one apprentice for the reputation i'm gonna go lecture using my apprentice here and just hope that this doesn't move so we will gain one franc and one reputation gaining one reputation we all we gained one more assistant to join our team so let's move our officers move one space i will make this move one space for the research and then that one move two spaces one and two we have two more let's you know let's get more bones we need more bones just for the future it's only one franc and we can get eight bones the name is bone man it will give us eight francs eight eight bones i mean okay we won't have any problem creating or starting a part now we have eight bones total let's move our apprentices uh officers so blank this one this will not move how about that one he will move two spaces oh no he caught one of our assistants in the morgue i can attempt evasion or bribe we can we don't have money again to bribe so let's try to evade um hopefully we roll at least one eye symbol yes <laughs> we evaded this officer here now let's place our scientists somewhere very useful our expertise i remember we need to get expertise and i'm gonna do an advanced research because you know this officer just passed that area so we don't need to worry oh wait he will get this uh, uh, assistant but that's okay i'm gonna do an advanced research i'm gonna gain one expertise that's 10 and then one card here i'm gonna get electrochemistry because this one this is one this one is good when you resolve a body or a cadaver stage one two or three you can use one of your jars and you just you will gain four and two four expertise and two reputation that is good that's a good effect right let's move our officers all right this one doesn't move and i will choose this officer to not move next this officer also will not move let's proceed with our uh, i guess we can start the we can start the head now because we have 10 expertise the head will uh require us to pay two muscles three organs and three bones so two muscles let's take that from let's take that from the level two stage stage two decomposition here um two muscle three organs also from the level two and three bones perfect now we have a head we will gain one expertise for that expertise and the points will be plus eight points seven plus eight is 15. great now we have a head let's take some head here pretty scary so let's place that our monster here is slowly building but we're far from uh, finishing it so that's a monster part that we started maybe we can uh, complete one of them um what what can we complete we can complete a leg if we complete a leg we can pay only three 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 and five blood 
Oh man, for the blood, we have to get the other two from the second level and that would reduce our points half by half. That is not good. Let's check the arm. For the arm, we need three muscle, two organ, and three blood. We can get that all from the level one, so that is good. That would give us six points. So we will do that. Let's complete. We will pay three muscle, two organ, and three blood for the arm. And again, we will increase our expertise by one. Expertise. And then let's flip the arm. This is the muscle and then it's gonna gonna have skin now. So we have completed the right arm of our monster. Let's discard the materials. Now we are left with these materials that I don't think we can use. Uh, let's add some points there. Let's add 6 points to our score. So 15 plus 6, that's gonna be 21 points total currently. Throw the switch. Do you want to throw the switch? Not yet. Preserve materials. Uh, let's preserve this one. I'll preserve that. And then next, we will go to the reset phase. We will de decompose the materials. So let's decompose the blood. The blood will all be discarded now because it says here, once it goes to the stage 3, it's discarded. The blood is dry. Now our organ and muscle here will go to the stage 2. The preserved uh, materials does not move at all. Now we refresh the game board again. Advance the captain one space. Now it's round five. Let's open our next event. Here, round five. Return off. I don't know how to read this one. But yeah, it's a return. The grand reopening of the theater, the Leodion, Leodion draws elite patron, patrons for the Barber of Seville. Opportunities abound for those who wish to be noticed. This card is a location for this round, on which each player may place only once. Okay, so we will gain reputation. There's, a, there's an event in the theater that we can go to and gain two reputation for going there. So that's nice. Let's continue our turn. We will, I guess if we go there, we can gain two reputation, but we only have one scientist, so that is not, uh, maybe that's not worth it. Let's look for other options that we have. Okay, this is a good action. We will use our apprentice to go to the hospital. We now have seven reputation. We'll go to the hospital. Sorry, not apprentice, ass assistant. We will ask our assistant to get a body for us from the top of the hospital deck. And he got us this one. And this is a level to cadaver. So we were going to do electrochemistry on this one. So when resolving a cadaver, discharge one of your laden jars. We're going to discharge one. And it will give us four expertise and two reputation. That's, that's a good number there. So let's do that now. Do not gain normal benefit. Let's discard this. And then we will gain 4 expertise. From 12, we are now at 16. 2 reputation. We are now at 9 reputation. Now let's move our officers. 3 movement. Um, 1, 2, 3. One movement, they will go here. Now they are hot uh, in the academy. They're, they're investigating the academy here. Maybe someone give them a tip that I've been lecturing there or researching there. Next action, let's volunteer a little bit here. So if we volunteer in the hospital, we will gain one humanity. Yay. And then two reputation. Now, we are now at 11 reputation. That means we are going to get one scientist. So, one of our assistant will be converted to a scientist role. So, he's promoted. He's now a scientist. So, we now have two scientists. But before we think of our next action, 
let's move the officers. One movement will be here, the dark alley. Three movement. So one, skip, two, and three, the market. Now they become active. You know what? Why not? Let's attend the theater. Uh, yep, the Barber of Seville. Let's watch that. We will gain two reputation for going there. We are now at 13 reputation. And the officers, investigators will move. Two movements. Gonna move you one and two. How about this one? One movement in the docks. We have one more assistant here and this is gonna be useful we need we need bodies here uh oh my goodness right let's go to the morgue let's pay one franc this is our last money and then let's draw two from that i'm gonna lose one humanity to resolve this body it will give us four three two two right for this one i don't think we have enough space to four six eight. we need to build a leg and an arm we can actually build a leg now how about the arm so this is for the leg for the arm will be yeah yeah it's okay let's let's sacrifice one humanity here so we will reduce one reputation because we reach the negative five humanity we are now down 12 reputation and then we will gain two muscle we can only get two more and I'm gonna get organs and of course the bone. We are also at maximum bone. So let's discard this now. Okay, let's move our investigators. Three movement. I'm gonna move this one. One, two. Oh no. Since he will skip this space, he will catch our assistant there. The assistant will have two evade one eye give me one eye oh no there's no eye i rolled two blanks so that means i will be interrogated and interrogation means the captain will move one space he will go to round six here we'll drop this new officer on the board to the morgue and that will also trigger an interrogation Let's try to evade first. We did not evade. That's another interrogation. He's now at 7. Alright. Let's try to move the other one. So this one, this is the first that moved. Next is this. It will move two spaces. One and two. He met our scientist there. Now, we don't have money to bribe. But since this is a scientist meeple, we can do a murder. If your meeple is a scientist, you have fewer than two police markers. Yeah, we have zero police markers. You may murder the investigator. If you do, you pay humanity penalty and gain the same reward and police marker as if you performed the dark alley action. Then place that investigator in the next round of the story track. Do we want to murder? We will lose three humanity. And that would... Mm, that's too much. Yeah, but it's... Mm -hmm. He's still far, you know, he's still halfway. That's not bad. But we're gonna murder that anyway. So I'm gonna murder that officer. He cannot find out about us. It's funny that we're, we did, we murdered him while volunteering there. <laughs> so we gained humanity, then later on we killed him. Anyway, let's do this dark alley. Let's take one wanted marker on our character. Lose three humanity. One, two, three. We lost one reputation because of that. And we gain, this is the good part, the only good part here, is we gained some of that police officer's precious muscle and precious organ here. And fresh blood. That sounds so bad. And two bones. But we are maximum bone, so we don't we don't add the bone. And that is the end of our turn. Poor police officer. He didn't have to do that, but that's that's life. 
let's go to the laboratory phase. We can build the monster part now. We can start first. May let's check if maybe we can complete something here. The head. Do we, mm, we don't have the expertise for the head. For the torso, we don't have enough muscle and organ. How about the leg? We don't have enough blood. How about the arm? We don't have arm. Uh, let's start. Let's start an arm. From let's take from here, three muscle, two organ, and three bone. We will gain four points, and then one expertise. Expertise. We are now at seventeen, and then we will take an arm. Yes, sir. Let's discard the materials that we used, and then we can go ahead and complete that arm. Three from the level one, two, and three blood. All of this is from stage one uh, decomposition, so that is fresh. That would give us six points. 31 points total currently, and this arm is now complete. We also get one expertise from that. So we have two arms that is that are complete now. Let's try if we can build another one. What can we build or start? How about the leg here? We can make a leg. Yeah, we can make a leg now for... Two organs and four bones. Yes, sir. We got a leg. Now our monster is almost complete. We have all the body parts. Now the next thing we need to do is complete that. Adding skin and then flipping the switch so that it will have a life. Um, building that, we gain five points. We are now at 36. That is a good turn. I'm sure we cannot build anything more. Next, I'm going to throw the switch so we can at least make the arms move or alive. So let's use our laden jar. Let's take two gray die. And since we have an expertise of 18, we can switch one of the gray die with the blue. The blue gives us higher chance of eye and I think yeah, that's better. For, for each laden jar, you roll two dice. Since we only have one, we will only roll two. So let's see if we gain an eye or a damage. Mm -hmm. That's bad. So we gain a damage. Two damage, actually. So the body part has been damaged. Let's put that on the two arms. The, the arms got damaged there because of the failed laden jar switch. That's uh, that's okay. Uh, let's preserve the materials. Let's try to preserve these two organs because it's going to be decomposing. It's not good anymore. So we can get francs from the market. Let's, you know, let's, let's do it. I preserve all of the materials hoping that we can get money to buy some laden jars later on. Then let's decompose. The blood will be removed. Refresh the game board. Right, everything is reset. This is actually a long game. I did not expect. Let's place back all of your miniatures or meeples back here. We are now we now have one wanted level, and we have negative eight humanity. That is bad. We have to atone for our sins. Lastly, advance the captain one space. He's now on eight, I believe. Yep, eight. Um, this one will go to the morgue, but if there's an investigator there, he will move to the slaughterhouse. There are three officers on the board now, and the captain is near our creature. We need to save our family, or else they're gonna die. So this is our event, Unholy Acts, round 8 to 12. A priest is found murdered at St. Roche. His limbs apparently torn off with great force, and his left eye removed. Saint Roch is off limits. There's there's a killer going around here. Why the priest though? Hi uh let's place our meeples on the board. Okay, so we need Franks and to get Frank we have to work at the hospital, but there's an officer there, so we need to wait until he uh he goes away. So for now let's use our assistant to do a little bit of research here. Since we are going to need, we're going to need more, uh, 
that's the switch we need the laden jar so we can use the reroll here the ability reroll so we can keep that here for uh, security purposes now let's move our officers no movement i will choose the slaughterhouse officer to not to not move one movement i will choose the hospital guy and then for this one he will move three spaces oh that's bad one and two he will actually he actually caught our assistant there and let's hope he can evade yes there's an eye so he evaded that officer um right let's take our next action we will need blood now because we are trying to complete our body parts here we need blood so we need fresh uh bodies we can send one of our assistants to go to the hospital we have how many reputations we have 11 mm, let's go get one so here there's no payment there's no not even a humanity payment we can get this old man's uh use it for science two muscle three organs one blood and three bones i don't think that's worth it though remember we need to go to the to the market right that is gone dead and gone let's move our officers one space i will move him here and then zero space i'll move the slaughterhouse guy three spaces again one two three that's it and then let's do uh work using our scientists here it will give us four francs there we go then let's move the officers one space uh let's move this guy here one space no let's move this one space no let's move this one space one space zero space so this one will not move okay we have one less scientist the market so going to the market i will sell these organs that i kept so i will gain four coins for this then sell the bones now because we don't need the bones one two three four another four coins the reason we don't need the bones is we already have started all of the body parts and the bones is uh bones are used for that only so we can get three more two four six we can get three more laden jars and there's no storm so we cannot really charge that it's not yet charged and uh, maybe we can get some ice as well let's do our shopping right let's move the officers no movement i will choose this guy to not move one movement i will choose this office oops no i will choose this officer and again we will have to evade or we can bribe let's just try to evade no we did not evade successfully so he will move one space and another one to the morgue this one will not act this round so this guy will not move right let us end our turn let's we cannot build anything we cannot even complete a part now yeah this is not enough so let's proceed with the decompose so I have ice. This will not decompose. Let's keep it there like that. Um, refresh the game board and return the meeples. Let's return the meeples. The board is set up. The captain will move to the 10 space. He is near our monster, our creature, our boss. Like one, two, three more movement and he will catch the creature and we are done. So this is the next event. Heads will roll. Claiming to have foiled an assassination scheme targeting the Duke de Berry, the Crown executes a collection of would-be plotters. Draw two to four cards from the public square deck and add them to the slots at the public square. Distributed as evenly as possible. 
So we will be getting one because we're just one player. One. Yep, these are would be assassin assassins that was decapitated. I don't know, maybe the, the king's getting paranoid. But if we get that, that's very fresh. So we can we we need to get there. But we have to pay one coin, of course. We have to bribe the executioner. So let's begin our turn. Alright, that's this is very simple. I'm just going to go to the public square. Pay one coin. And I'm gonna get this. Two muscle, four organs, and three blood. Is it still within our uh, limit? Let's see. Three bones. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. Exactly. This is the maximum, 15. Right? Let's remove this from the public square. Let's move our officers. Three movement. I'm going to move you. 1, 2, 3. No movement. I'm going to choose the this one to not move three movement one two three and lastly this one no movement all right let's do our turn we have enough materials here to maybe complete the head yeah probably yep the head or the torso either way we can do that. Now let's just focus on increasing our humanity because that is very bad. Or maybe, yeah, we can get the expertise so we can convert one of the gray dice to blue. Where can we get expertise? Where else? Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to use my uh, uh, scientist. Oh, I forgot my special ability. Once per lab phase, I will. I can spend less when completing a monster part. I, I'm, I'm not using that. But that's okay. Uh... So we gain one expertise here. We are now at 19. And then we have this card. We have two cards. We can use this for reroll. We can use this for expertise when giving blood. Let's move our investigators first. One movement. I'm going to move you here. Three movement. Oh no. This one. One. Right. Let's try two. Try to oh no we can't let's bribe I'm gonna bribe him I'm gonna pay two when you bribe you place it here after three bribes the price will increase I bribe that part there so one two how about this no movement that's good how about you two movements one uh do we murder we don't have enough space for murder it's gonna be wasted we can bribe i'm gonna bribe him there as long as we have money we will bribe uh yeah we have two more me meeples you know what we can just do the give blood I'm gonna give blood here I'm gonna gain blood but it's full already so we we cannot add more instead of gain Instead of gaining the blood, we can just transfuse the blood and gain three expertise, one reputation, and one franc. Let's do that now. One franc, three expertise, one, two, three. We are now at 22, and then one reputation. That's a placement. Let's move there. One movement, I will move you. Oops. Three movement, one, two, three. About this guy, no movement. About you, two movement. Took, took. Lastly, our scientists, where do we put that? We will charge our laden jars. Since this is a scientist, we will charge three. This should be four. Why is it three? Okay, we charge three of our laden jars. And uh, let's roll again for the movement. Move one space. I'll move you there. No movement. This will be uh, the move. This one. No movement for that guy. One movement. 
here lastly the same broad no movement right laboratory phase let's build let's complete a monster part i think we can complete two i know we don't have enough blood we have four blood so we can complete the torso or the head we can choose oh we cannot complete the torso we don't have enough muscle so let's just complete the head three muscle five organ because there's a brain there and then three blood all of this is in stage one so we will gain 11 points for that 47 our score gain one expertise and this card and complete the head So we completed the head we are left with nothing more i thought we're gonna we can build two parts but yeah let's flip the switch one two laden jars i'm gonna use four dice four dice and i'm i can convert two of this into two blue so i hope no i hope no damage let's do it one by one blank it's not even a success how about the gray one a success yes a damage and a damage so we have one success and two damage at least one of the parts is alive so the head is alive now and we got two damage to the legs that is our flip switch turn let's preserve the materials we don't want to preserve anything the ice will melt because we are at the decomposed material this will not decompose and the ice will be discarded and refresh the game board again and then take back your meeple and start another turn let's get up oh, the captain moves is now at 11 this is the event for this round heated rivalry you each discovered the head of an unfortunate feline nailed to your front door. The vulgar act seems meaningless, but given the nature of your patron, it seems best to take it as a warning. You each redouble your efforts, and any sense of camaraderie you might have had quickly dissipates. Players must pay double francs to bump meeple. We're not affected of this because there's no bumping, but this is very important. There's a storm, so all of our laden jars will be charged. We can do our turn okay so for our first action we will go to work so we will gain four francs here we have five then let's move the officers no movement this will be no uh, this will not move not move this one will not move the hospital this one will not move how about you two movement one and two now let's do our turn we can go to the church to atone for our sins we can use actually we can actually use the thwart to stop any interrogation so let's do, we can do that but uh, we will not gain the humanity so it's just protection for the interrogation we can consider that later or now because this is gonna get caught so let's get, let's put one of our scientists here let's gain one humanity for that and let's gain the thwart for protection uh, against the interrogation let's move them no movement i will choose this to not move of course one movement you okay How about one movement you three movement so one two oh no three he caught me in the church do we use the protection now or protection here later we cannot afford to risk the evasion because it's gonna end the game so let's just pay the bribe two now since it's full we will take one of those coins put it up here the rest will be discarded now the bribing is plus two coins uh actually the last space here uh costs two two francs plus one so i should have paid three i'm gonna pay one more there to bribe i hope that's a good decision now let's do our turn 
go to the body snatcher here pay two francs but this is stage three did we pay already let's take it back let's just try to rush and complete a body part if we can even use animal parts just to beat the captain walton build the monster faster so let's maybe we can do that okay instead of the body snatcher we're just gonna go with the cutthroat i'm gonna pay one franc lose one humanity three blood two bones four muscle and three organ right 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 let's do it uh you're out let's move the officers two movements will be you one two okay. Two movements will be you, one, two, one movement, and you will be one movement, goes here, I'm gonna use the thwart, I'm gonna use the thwart to cancel that investigation. Okay, so I didn't know that it's actually, if you discard this card, the entire investigation action will be stopped instead of just one movement so i have to remember where they came from so i will use this and put the meeples back to where they came from All right so now they are back where they came from i will use this card to cancel their whole investigate action so there will be no investigation this round Last action for the day will be two. We already have blood for the torso. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, we don't have. We don't have. Okay, so I just realized that we are lacking organ. The best place to go now is to the cemetery because that's the only chance we can get uh, an organ. Okay, this is good. Uh huh. Okay, so we have three. We can resolve two. This one it costs humanity. We are not going to resolve that. Let's get this. It's actually decomposing now, so it's not good quality. But we are trying to beat Captain Walton. Right. Finish. I don't think we can. We can finish this. So that's. Uh, let's move our officers now. Move one space. I will move you here. No movement. This will not move. One movement. You go there. How about you? I hope there's no movement. Oh, three movement. He will go here. And let's try. Because we cannot pay. Let's try to evade. Give me an eye. An eye. Yes. We successfully evaded that. Good. That ends our turn. Let's go to the lab phase. Laboratory. Let's build the monster part. We're actually going to complete one. The torso. Yeah, let's do the torso. But it's gonna be a bad quality. But that's okay. Four blood. Five. And for the organ. We need six. That's gonna make our torso complete. Just, we're just missing the legs. But uh, I don't think we can build anymore. We're going to throw the switch. We're going to roll all of this. Let's do this. Six. So I'm going to roll two of those as blue. the blue. Let's, let's roll the blue first. Oh wow, two eyes. That's good. Throw all the gray dice. No dam one damage and one humanity loss. We're going to use this card to reroll any of a gray die. We're going to reroll I don't want we're gonna reroll these two. Ay ay ay. So we only got two eyes and one humanity lost. Losing one humanity, that means we lost one of our apprentice. 
goodbye apprentice man we have two eyes those are gonna be the legs ah the arms the arms are alive the head is alive we need the body and the legs but i don't think we can make it we are already at round 11 so let's proceed we are going to decompose the materials now refresh the game board again i forgot to add points for the torso so that's six points we are at 53 now okay the board is clean lastly we will move the captain here and start our next round this is the last event deal with the devil a letter from your patron arrives that reads those who would be pleased by relief need only attach this note to their door and i will send around a new assistant a soul who has displeased me sufficiently to remove all parts of them that cannot aid in your work players may immediately choose once to receive a negative humanity to gain one extra assistant for this round uh, we're currently at uh, nine the maximum is negative 10 and if we do the negative 10 we will not uh, be able to gain any more humanity and i don't and i think that's okay there's no going back so i'm gonna lose one humanity there maximum and i will receive one assistant that i lost earlier so that is our event let's continue with the final round let's focus on the leg we need fresh body so if my assistant gets caught or the scientist gets caught i'm gonna murder that officer so let's focus on materials that we can use. This one, the dog catcher, if we get uh, animal parts, that's also good because that's like a wild card if you're not worried about the quality because we are desperate now. Oh, I forgot we, we can pay one less. That's the ability of our character. But I keep forgetting that. Let's just forget about that now. So our plan is to get animal parts. Because it can be substituted substituted for anything. Unless it's in stage 3, stage 4, it cannot be substituted for blood. It's actually good that uh, this one is a stage 1 animal part. So we will get that. We will get 4 animal part from that. What is this? Stage 2 for that one. Yeah, let's do that. So let's put our apprentice here to pay one. I have one. And let's gain four orange animal parts. No choice. Then <clears throat> one movement. Zero movement. This one zero movement. Zero movement this. We want to move the, the one in the slaughterhouse. So we can go to the slaughterhouse so yes so there's two movement here i'm gonna choose him one two and let's begin our next action i'm going to use my apprentice to go here so four animal parts on stage two let's move our officers again two movement i'm going to choose you one and two two movement oh no we're gonna get caught and we don't have we need uh we need to evade so i'm gonna use this one and two we have to evade evade one eye one eye we didn't get an eye and that's a game over for us because Captain will go here and he has caught the creature and the creature in turn killed our family and that's game over for us that's it that's our gameplay of abomination that is very long it it took longer than I expected I anticipated so yep there you have it this is the board game hero Thank you for watching. See you again next time.